Welcome back to CFR Studios. I know y'all are enjoying the Christmas trees and lights and all that. Speaking of Christmas, how did you guys fare on your Christmas presents? I got a little something special in my stocking right here. Yeah, there would definitely be a review coming out on this beauty right here. But let's talk about some fragrances that have been pulling me some crazy compliments in this cold weather. I finally found what I'm missing. And now you got all my attention. Driving me wild, got me wishing That you were all mine, you're irresistible Welcome back to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. I'm your host, Cam. Make sure that you're subscribed, activate that notifications bell, and follow us on Instagram at cam.bird. Yes, we are talking about my most complimented fragrances so far of fall, winter, 2019. 2019 is guaranteed to be a wrap. I know it's only officially been winter for just a couple of days, but we have had some unseasonably cold weather for North Carolina, so these are the fragrances that I will be wearing right on up until it starts warming up, and as soon as it starts warming up here, it's just like immediate 100 degree weather. So I figured I'd go ahead and get these out while I can because it will not be long before we're having to talk about warm weather fragrances. Viewer discretion advised, if you don't like hearing about most complimented fragrances or fragrances that pull compliments or whatever, I would just suggest to uh, you know, click onto the next video or stick around, who knows, you might enjoy it. I don't know if you're new to this channel or not, I have discussed compliments before. Compliments is kind of a divisive thing that people like, ah, eh, they think it's clickbait about you know getting compliments or whatever. Just to explain my situation a little bit, I work in a family business that has been in our community for over 50 years. I live in the South. People talk to each other a little bit more. People are a little bit more approachable and I have a very outgoing personality. So obviously, you know, with that type of chemistry going on and me seeing a lot of people that I know or I'm familiar with or even people that I'm not so familiar with, having an outgoing personality would definitely help that. I'm sure there's probably been plenty of times where people were, you know, maybe might were gonna get a compliment, but they were kind of standoffish or whatever and didn't get those compliments. With that said and out of the way, I'm not saying these will get you compliments, but so far, these are some cold weather bangers that have been reeling in the compliments. I'm gonna kick this off with a highly underrated compliment, king, beast, god, whatever you wanna call it. It is Mansira Gold Incense. You don't hear much about this fragrance. This fragrance was actually, uh, my brother gave me this, if I remember correctly. He either turned me on to it or whatever the case may have been. This is like a crazy, crazy compliment magnet. I haven't been wearing it like a whole lot, but usually when I wear it, I get a lot of compliments. Last year I talked about this fragrance and I actually even showed a clip to where two girls working at Bojangles gave me permission to get them to repeat what they said so I could catch it on camera because people are talking about, man, you don't get all those compliments or whatever, but yeah, it happens. This one has excellent performance, excellent projection. You wouldn't think it's something, you know, like an incense fragrance, but it's actually got a really nice, fresh opening. It's not at all what you'd expect. I have seen a lot of incense fragrances that are like really just like overpowering, just really strong and deep and, you know, not for the faint of heart at all. This is the easiest wearing incense fragrance I have ever smelled. And I'm telling you, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Let me read to you the notes that's in this bad boy. Gold Incense was released in 2018. The notes are incense, pink pepper, mandarin, orange, coffee, violet, jasmine, rose, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla pod, and white musk. When I said that this has a fresh opening, 
you actually get some of that citrus. You definitely get a little bit of the incense in there, but you also get that mandarin and you get a little bit of spiciness from that pink pepper. Then I'm gonna dry down with the incense combined with that vanilla pod. It almost has a slight gourmandish vibe. It's really sweet. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Unisex is all get out. Easily can be pulled off by a man or woman. Now some of those incense fragrances like are really, really dark. And I'm not talking about like the Nag Chamba type incense that you're trying to cover up, you know, like herbal smells. You know what I'm saying? That's not that type of incense. This is fresh enough that it might cover it up. I wouldn't know. Honorable mention, but it definitely gets a job done. Coming in at number 10 is actually one of my most worn fragrances of 2019. It is Tiziana Terenzi Orion. If you're not familiar with Orion, it does have some slight similarities to Creed Aventus. I actually backed off of Aventus a little bit this year in order to you know, kind of shake things up. I'd been wearing a lot of Aventus back in 2018 and earlier this year, but as it got you know, to moderate to cooler weather, I've been wearing this. Some of the notes in this are going to be that DNA that you're so familiar with, but let me read them to you. Orion was released in 2015. The notes are bergamot, red currant, pineapple, apple, patchouli, jasmine, birch, thyme, incense, amber, oud, musk, and cedar. Now, one of the things that people search for in like these grail batches of Aventus, they like that real smokiness and they like, you know, the birch, heavy on the birch and everything. Just putting your nose to the nozzle of this, you definitely kind of get that dark woodsy smell and that's you're getting that with the oud and the patchouli and everything in this it has definitely got a woodsy smell but you also get the freshness from the apple and the pineapple the bergamot the things that you would get from aventus but with this being a much darker version it makes it much easier to wear in the colder months and if you know anything about Aventus, you know it is a compliment monster. So just think a much darker and different Aventus with a lot of depth. I get really, really good performance and projection with this and it has been a compliment monster. Coming in at number nine is actually a fragrance that you've seen on this channel a couple of times, but I have been wearing it and I swear, every time I wear it, it pulls compliments. It is Maison Francis Kurt John's Ooze Satin Mood. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's not for the faint of heart. This is not a fragrance that you want to blind buy. But let me tell you something. <sighs> I'm kind of funny about my rose and oud fragrances, you know, because sometimes, especially like if it's got like a really animalic oud, which I have smelled plenty of those type of oud and rose fragrances. This one has some added vanilla that really smooths it out. And in the air, like in really cold weather, this one really, really pulls compliments. Uh, it was just a little while back, um, my friend Chris from Fragmental was actually doing a collaboration with Notes Punch and he actually said that this is one of his clubbing fragrances. So, you know, with this being as strong and pungent as it is, I, I never would have thought to wear this like in a clubbing situation, but I can kind of see where this would be a very attention grabbing fragrance. It's loud, it has massive projection, massive performance, 12 plus hours, actually, you know, like wear it out, come home, wake up the next morning, you're still gonna smell it. This one goes and goes and goes. When people talk about unsolicited compliments, you know, that's like, you know, when you're asking somebody, you know, if they think it smells good or whatever, this is one you don't have to ask anyone at all. I was in Dollar General one day, just picking up like some toothpaste and deodorant. And there was a girl like at the end of the aisle that was catching wafts. And she walked by and she's like, excuse me, sir. She said, you smell really, really good. And I've had several other, you know, like there's been a few times I've even just wore this. At, like when I first bought it, I actually wore it to work just to, just to be test driving it. Now this is not like a, a go to work type of fragrance by any means. It is a dressed up fragrance out on the town, clubbing, you know, that type of situation. 
This is one that I actually stuck in the lineup uh, whenever Andrea did the uh, date night smelling rate and said that you know it was actually one that like made her tummy hurt or whatever. And I can understand that it is very coyingly sweet and very, very strong. But if this is one that you can wear in a situation where you're gonna project and not be in closed quarters, you'll definitely wanna pick this one up. Let's go over the notes. Oud Satin Mood was released in 2015. The notes are Oud, Bulgarian Rose, Benzoin, Turkish Rose, Violet, and Vanilla. Coming in at number eight is from the House of Homage. Now, you guys may know that Reflection Man has been like compliment beast for me. And I've really kind of narrowed down my homages to like two favorites. It's Reflection Man or Jubilation Man. I've still been wearing my Reflection Man, but this has been getting a whole lot more wear. Its nickname is GB, GB25. You know, this is a very much beloved fragrance. And I also mentioned in a review a few months ago, well actually like when the weather first broke, that this is not like, you know, like a starter oud. Yeah, and if you have not tried oud fragrances, unless you're a little bit daring, this may or may not be for you, but believe it or not, this thing has really been pulling the compliments in. It is a unique, spicy, aromatic fragrance that has lots and lots of depth, insane performance, insane projection, and sillage that will reel people in. I actually got a phone call one evening. I was already in for the evening. At our shop, we do repairs and being one of the key holders is not the funnest thing in the world. When you get a phone call after you've already kicked your feet up for the evening and somebody's had a tire blowout or something. They actually had called my brother and he called me and I was like, really? So I went to go change that tire and I had this on. So when I get to the shop, it's actually three women. They're on their way out on the town. They're all doll babied up and ready to roll. I go in there, I had nice clothes on, I had to change it to some work clothes, but I wasn't able to change this off. So I'm over there changing the tire and they're all three, like they're actually kind of like invading my personal space a little bit, but they're like bees like pollinating in the spring over the top of flowers. And I was like, give me a little bit of space, but they're like, you smell so freaking good. I was like, well, thank you, but if you want this tire change, you're gonna have to back off a little bit. But yeah, compliment beast, I never would have expected. This is one that I've just like been loving for me, but it's been pulling those compliments. Let's go over the notes. Jubilation Man was released in 2008. The notes are orange, coriander, labdanum, tarragon, olibanum, blackberry, guyac wood, cinnamon, bay leaf, honey, orchid, rose, clove, clary seeds, opapinox, patchouli, myrrh, cedar, musk, oak moss, ambergris, and oud. And if that wasn't enough notes for you, I'll go grab a Raja and we'll just go read the notes off of it. <laughs> Coming in at number seven is one that you see not too long ago in a weekly rotation. And I was telling you about how many compliments me and my son were getting while we were at the mall. It has been nothing but compliments since then. It is Guerlain Lom Ideal EDP. Now the EDT and EDP both are beloved fragrances. The EDT has also pulled compliments, but for some reason the EDP just works better on my skin. I like it better. I like the more prominent almond in the EDT, but the cherry in the EDP is just like to die for. For the amount of compliments that this fragrance pulls and the simplicity and the price point for this, this is definitely a must have for anyone's collection. Very easy to wear, very mass appealing, not too heavy. You know, something like Jubilation Man is a heavy, heavy fragrance. This one is light, but it also has some depth. This one can be a little tricky to find at a good deal. Sometimes I'll see them like priced like crazy and then do like I did and get a 50 ml for like 30 bucks. That's about the price range that you wanna be looking, 
But if you want to pull compliments and this is something safe enough to wear in a workplace environment, pick this bad boy up right here. Let's go over the notes. Loam IDL EDP was released in 2016. The notes are almond, leather, vanilla, bergamot, spices, Turkish rose, incense, vanilla, sandalwood, and tonka. Next fragrance came as to a surprise to me. It is actually a flanker to my very first fragrance purchase. Some of you may know this, Fahrenheit was my first fragrance I ever bought with my own money when I was like 16 years old. Fahrenheit Parfum is everything that that was and then some. I actually got this on a swap from my buddy, Jacob Bryant. We were trying to do some horse trading or bartering, whatever you want to call it. And I was just really, really glad that I scooped this up. This has been pulling compliments like crazy projects in the cold like you would not believe. And I don't think there has been a single time that I've wore this fragrance where I didn't at least pull like one compliment. There's been a couple of times where I have pulled multiple compliments. This, the vanilla in this kind of gives it a gourmandish vibe with that original DNA, dialed down with like the petroleum smell. Let's go over the notes. Fahrenheit Parfum was released in 2014. The notes are pink peppercorn, lemon, lavender, violet leaf, benzoin, guyac wood, birch, cedar, patchouli, vanilla, and vetiver. When this is first sprayed, you actually get a little bit of that lemon and citrus in the opening. But as it dries down, it becomes that beautiful vanilla dry down with that Fahrenheit DNA just behind the backbone of it all. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance that would definitely pull compliments. Coming in at number five is a 2019 release. It is the first fragrance that I dubbed like the best designer release of 2019. It is Armani Code Absolute. This one has pulled me an insane amount of compliments. This is an extremely solid release from 2019. We had a lot of releases in 2019. Some of them were hit or miss. And I mean, it was like really hit or really miss. This is one that really hit. The original Armani Code was a huge like signature scent for me back in the day. Then, you know, they had some other ones that were, you know, they were okay. You know, none of them were really bad in my opinion, just some of them weren't enough for me to like buy a full bottle. This is the first fragrance I've bought since the Profumo that was a full bottle and I am so glad that I bought this one. This one is very similar to, you know, you get the code DNA. It's kind of similar to the Profumo, but it has a slightly more dialed down uh, aspect as far as like the sweetness from Profumo. And then you get the masculinity from that well-known code DNA. And then it's dialed down with like carrot seed. You've got some mandarin orange and some apple in here. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance that will pull insane compliments. There have been numerous people who have reached out to me and said thank you for turning me on to that fragrance because it was like a masterpiece and worked really well for them. Let's go over the notes. Armani Code Absolute was launched in 2019. The notes are green mandarin, green apple, orange blossom, nutmeg, carrot seeds, suede, tonka bean, vanilla, and woody notes. The first time I ever saw carrot seeds as a note in a fragrance was on a Borussia the Victorious. And I know that those have like crazy notes all in it. And I really didn't understand what its role was as far as like what it did, but it actually gives it a slight earthiness that will kind of dial down a sweetness, but actually still give it some depth and not give it like dirty, you know, like some, some earthy notes like patchouli. That is a note that can actually, you know, either make it kind of like a dirty type of feel. Carrot seed will give it an earthiness without it being like a funky or dirty type of earthiness. On the opening of this one, you definitely get like that vanilla mixed with some citruses. And then like I said, like that carrot seed is actually one of the elements in this that dials it down. This is 
a really dressed up fragrance if you want it to be. This is actually something I would have no problem wearing a suit with or something you know a little bit nicer but at the same time it's easy enough to wear in a casual situation which I have done and pulled mad compliments. Coming in at number three is a fragrance that you've been seeing a little bit more of here recently. It's not a new fragrance. It's just a fragrance that I have been in love with for a very, very long time. And sometimes I will wear something a little too much. When you're talking about buying like five bottles of a fragrance since it's been released, yeah, you might get a little burnout, but every time you go back to it, man, oh man. This is a masterpiece from Chanel. It is Allure Homme Sport O Extreme. What can I say? This is a compliment, compliment monster. If you guys didn't check out our smell and rate battle with this versus Office for Men, that was a crazy video. I mean, I honestly, honestly did not expect that to be such a lopsided video but it just goes to show you how well this fragrance is put together, how mass appealing this fragrance is, and in the winter time, the tonka in this thing is just like, I think it just like kind of just builds a base for it and people absolutely love it. Super easy to wear, mass appealing as all get out, and basically anybody, any age can pull this one off. I don't know that there's ever been a time that I, I mean, since this fragrance has been put out, I can't think of a time that I've wore this in public and not get a compliment unless I just like was on a mission, like at Christmas time when, you, uh, when I have a plan to go to the mall, I'm just like, okay, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna execute, 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 my head's down. And I'm just like hustling and bustling through everybody. That would probably be the only situation where this would not pull a compliment. Let's go over the notes. The Laura Ohm Sport O Extreme was released in 2012. The notes are mint, mandarin, clary sage, sandalwood, white musk, tonka bean, and cedarwood. You may have heard me say it before, but I'll say it again. This is my favorite designer release of all time. This is like one of those fragrances I probably, you know, like if I had to just like do away with everything and just have one fragrance, I believe this more than likely would be it. Okay, before we get to number three, these bottom three are compliment monsters. There's no question about it. I have been wearing a little bit more of these three, so that's probably why they came in in the bottom three. Now, honestly, it was like neck and neck. I had a really hard time uh, figuring. It's basically just I had to figure on like which ones I wore the most and the least basically because the compliment factor is pretty darn close on all these. So with that said, my number three is Mason Margiela's Jazz Club. This thing is sexy, y'all. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Every time, every time, every time, he is full of crap. It's the truth. I deal with the public on a regular basis. I am surrounded by people nonstop. Like I said, my family's business has been this community for 50 plus years. And when you're the son of a pillar of the community, there's not many places you can go or hide or have any type of cloak and dagger situation without somebody recognizing you. To show you how ridiculous it is, I actually took a trip to Europe. I was in Vienna, Austria, all over Germany. I went to Prague. I think I was in Vienna. I was in some sort of museum and we we're just looking at some stuff and some lady comes up to me and she's like, aren't you so-and-so's son? And I'm like, really? Just, you know, that's just, that's how it is. So yeah, people approach you, they tell you, you smell good. So that's that. This is that fragrance that's going to reel them in and then I love it. It's got tobacco, it's got booze, what's not to like? And then when people tell you that you smell good when you're wearing something that you love to wear to begin with, it's kind of a win-win. Jazz Club was released in 2013. The notes are Neroli, Spanish Lemon, Peppercorn, Clary Sage, Vetiver, Rum, Tobacco Leaf, Vanilla, and Styrax. Now when it comes to boozy vanilla tobacco fragrances, I'm gonna be all over that to begin with. 
And this is one of the most well put together, mass appealing, boozy vanilla tobacco fragrances ever. Coming in at number two is another 2019 release and it wasn't welcomed with open arms by any means. I am talking about Yves Saint Laurent, Why Live, or as my buddy Ashton says, Why Live? <laughs> Why Live? We gots to, man. If we gonna make it, we gots to live. But this is a compliment monster. As if you saw my review on this, I said, if Azara wanted YSLY EDP and the 2016 Invictus Aqua had a love child, this is what it would produce. Now, as you guys know, I, mean, I know you probably hate blue fragrances, but y'all know what it does. It works. It pulls compliments. And this one actually, I won't say it surprised me, but the reactions surprised me because they weren't just like, oh, you smell nice. They're like, oh, you smell good. Yeah, that type of reaction. So if you like compliments, might want to try it. It is very similar to the YEDP, but a little bit sweeter, slight bubblegum vibe like you would get from like the Invictus or Invictus Aqua 2016. Even that Azara wanted to has a little bit of that bubblegummy thing. But this one's really sweet. It pops like crazy in the cold. Now the notes that I could find for this do not have Ambroxan listed as like one of the official notes, but you definitely get that Ambroxan thing going on. And I think when I have a problem with fragrances that give me that screechy, scratchy thing that actually affects my nose, a lot of times it's juniper. So I'm not sure if I might be allergic to juniper, certain Ambroxan fragrances that do not have juniper bother me, but it seems like the ones that are heavier on the Ambroxan with juniper are the ones that bother me. But this one has juniper and does not bother me for whatever reason. Let's go over the notes. Wild Live was released in 2019. The notes are grapefruit, bergamot, pear, ginger, orange blossom, juniper, cacao, and cedarwood. And yes, I did say cacao. Do I get a cacao in here? No, I do not. So I was thinking, you know, like this might be, you know, kind of a gourmandish type fragrance. Other than the fruits in it, it doesn't have any darkness to it that you would get that gives it a chocolatey vibe or anything like that. But definitely will pull compliments definitely a little bit more youthful. I don't know if you saw my review on this or not, but I actually consider this to be like the bad boy of the Y line as far as like Y-E-D-T, E-D-P, and Y Live. It's lit, live, it's the bad boy, the black sheep, if you will. Coming in at number one is an action-packed fragrance. If there's ever been one, some of the most just like out of the blue compliments I have ever received comes from Nazamato's Berionda. This is a secret weapon. This is beast mode. This is sexiness in a bottle. And it's also intoxication in a bottle. It's definitely got an extreme booziness to it. And you would think like something that really, literally smells like really, really boozy. You wouldn't think that that would, you know, like pull compliments. Yeah. It does. We were actually filming in here a little while back and somebody forgot their SD cards. So we had to go out and about and we went to Best Buy to go grab some SD cards. And while we're in there, employees just started circling the wagons just and picked up three subscribers just because of this little bad boy right here. Beautiful fragrance with that Wow Factor Atomizer. Wow. This is my favorite fragrance to wear in like super, super cold weather. Nazimato has four bangers that I love to wear in the winter time. It's Black Afghano, Duro, Pardon, and then the king of all, Berionda. I have heard other people say that this is their secret date night weapon. Definitely. You're going to pull compliments. You're going to get attention. You're going to demand attention. Number one complimented fragrance so far, or at least to close out 2019 for the fall and winter or cold weather, 
Nazimato is Baronda. Let's go over the notes. Baronda was released in 2016. The notes are musk, ambrette, whiskey, rose, ambroxan, and woods. Now you will find ambroxan in fragrances where you cannot tell that ambroxan's in there because blue fragrances usually have them. But when they're in a fragrance like this, it's just to boost that performance. And you see that tiny little bottle? You don't need much at all. One, two sprays, 10, 11, 12 hours of performance. Insane, insane. One more time, insane compliments with this little bad boy right here. So to close 2019 out, these are the most complimented fragrances that I have wore for fall and you know a portion of winter because the rest of winter is gonna be in 2020, but I will still be wearing these in 2020. I have picked up a couple of new acquisitions, so I'm looking forward to see how well they do on the uh, performance, just like that one I showed you in the opening. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that does because as far as how it smells, yeah, amazing. And one more thing before we get to the very end, you know, where I was talking about the compliments. If you want compliments, just make yourself approachable. You don't have to be like the best looking person in the world. Just be, you know, open, you know, throw a smile, throw a wink, whatever. But, you know, don't get overly flirtatious, but just let people know that it's okay to give you a compliment. And in closing, be disruptive. Wear what you want, when you want. Have fun. Make sure that you're subscribed to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. Activate that notifications bell. Smash that like button. Leave us some comments down below. We'll see you next time on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.